and welcome back to my channel divinely guided tarot if you're new here my name is angel and i'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading this message could be for all signs so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation leave the rest behind and as always guys thank you again so much for everything that you do to help this channel grow it is greatly appreciated all right now i want to go ahead and uh, switch gears. We were focusing a lot on our Twin Flame Collective, our Divine Soulmates. We were getting into some heavier readings, um, all revolving around love. Now we're going to go ahead and try to pull this back into focus, back into the the Lightworker channels, the Lightworker messages that you're used to hearing. So we're going to go ahead and start off with our Lightworker Oracle deck to pull our energy for today's message, okay? So Holy Spirit, please come through, help shield, guard, protect this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my beautiful subscribers. Help me with messages that they need to hear at this divine right time. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see what this message is about. Hoping that your weekends were very satisfying. It was a beautiful full moon that we experienced here. Over the weekend, um, you know, that energy kind of lingers on and the energy felt really good. So I really hope that you got a chance to, um, you know, take a break in your day, you know, enjoy, enjoy life. Enjoying life. I love it. There's too many. We have the leap card. I do like this energy. It's saying you go first. The universe will catch you. You're forging paths. You're making ways for people. You are kind of the first person to do everything in your family. You were probably the first person to go to college. You were the first person to do this. You were the first person to do that. It's like you were the first person to do anything of great importance in your family. Maybe you were born to a toxic family and you were the considered the black sheep, right? But maybe you were considered the black sheep because you didn't believe in, in all of the negative stuff. You were like Marianne in the Munsters, you know? She just was a goody two-shoes and she just looked different from everybody else, right? You forge a path. You make a way. You help people see things in a new way. You're an influencer of some kind. Maybe on social media somewhere, your words hold a lot of weight. Your, your words hold a lot of power, I'm, I'm hearing too. So you have a bit of a higher ranking out in the ethereal world, okay? Your name holds respect. Your name is important. You're identifying yourself. You're not, I feel like you hated your name at one point and... All of a sudden, like, it's it's okay now. Like, you you like your name now. You're proud of your name. It says sisterhood of the rose. It says beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Yes, you are an influencer of some kind. You may have your own platform. You may be a part of a group of divine feminines in a soul tribe that are readers or Maybe you go out and do mission work, or maybe you're a part of a soul tribe where it's just a strong feminine presence and you support one another and you encourage each other to keep growing and keep adapting and keep evolving and keep moving closer and closer into the light. So this is strong feminine support that this, this feminine energy is receiving or you could be surrounded by a lot of feminine energies a lot of high priestess style energies um but they are there to help you you're learning from them and in turn you're able to teach others and it says soul family here so yes this sisterhood of the rose this strong divine feminine presence is all related to a soul family. So if this is you, you know who you are in this um, 
You know, I feel like it's almost a first for your kind too. And when I say your kind, I mean like as women, we tend to be overlooked a lot, right? But it's like you're the first for our represented species as a female, meaning, to make power moves like this. Nobody expects you to be able to do anything, and yet you're the first one to do it. You know what movie they're showing me? Um, the Divergent series, right? Okay, so when uh, Tris has to make that first jump, and everybody was like, kind of looked at her like she was going to be like a nobody. She was going to die within like a day or so of her ceremony. And then all of a sudden, she's the first one to take that jump because she lived in fear all of her life. She just never let it control her, you know? You can live in fear and still make it through and still walk through and still face things head on. A lot of people aren't able to do that. But you were built formidable. You were built for brood kings. You were built to be soft and nurturing and compassionate and giving. You were here to teach. There's a difference. Ooh, your entire soul tribe is here to teach. You're going to be paired up with a lot of divine feminine energies. Um, quite a few of them, actually. And you're all going to learn from each other. And you are all going to, to raise the vibration of an entire planet from what they're telling me. Um, uh, so I want to go ahead and I want to pull into the... Well, you know what? We'll use this as our clarifier, Angel Tarot deck. Um, I want to dig into the white one first. So, Holy Spirit, I want to go ahead and know exactly what message do you have for this divine feminine energy? Um, what message do you have for this group of soul tribe members? I really feel like that may be what this message is. That's kind of strange. I have a message for... An entire soul tribe of feminine energies. If your soul family is only comprised of feminine energy, this might be your message. Make sure you share it with your friends if it does resonate with you guys, okay? Um, so I want to make sure any message that comes out of this that you all have access to it. Because it sounds like it's important. They're showing me high priestesshood of the... Traveling pants. I don't know. It's like sisterhood of the traveling pants, but they're like high priestess of the traveling pants. So I, I don't know. Like, I feel like maybe this group might go out and do like mission work and maybe not like traditional mission work, but this is a group of feminine energies that go out and do volunteer work either in different countries or in our own country. Yeah. Partnership, sisterhood, love. For your fellow sister. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, so Holy Spirit, tell me a little bit more about this sister, this, this group of individuals. We have the justice card popping out right here under leap. Um, it's like a switch has been flipped. They're showing me a light switch on a wall that has been flipped on. And it's it's like put your sons away and bring forth the daughters. The daughters, that's what they're telling me. Um, go ahead and clarify soul family, sisterhood of the rose. We have the magician card. Uh, the soul family is full of alchemists, full of magicians, full of people who know how to transmute their energy. You are a strong group. You are a strong group of people that are going to be teaching others how to awaken, how to improve their spiritual journey. Um, what's nice here is that your family carries you through and you carry your family through. With the Six of Swords out here, this is a card all about transitioning and changing and learning. Okay? Learning how to leave things behind. You know, this is all about what alchemy, uh, spiritual alchemy is. Being self-aware. Okay? I believe they say the first lesson that a warrior is ever forced to make or, or have to go through is denial of your immediate circumstance only prolongs the inevitability of your failure to see real danger coming towards you. 
I think that's how that phrase goes. But it is so true. It is so true. You cannot live blind anymore. And I feel like you're like, I would love to just break down and fall apart and cry and eat a pint of, of, of Ben and Jerry's. But you know what? That doesn't solve anything. You're like, I don't have time for that anymore. Man, I would love to take a long soak in a hot tub, right? And kick my feet up and eat one of those Milano cookies and have a white candle on the end of the tub and just transmute all of that energy through the water. But no, I have kids screaming in the background, fighting over the remote control or the Nintendo Switch, pounding on the door. When's dinner? And I'm like, all I want is my cookie in a hot bath. I want to pretend like I'm a princess in a tower. Life isn't always going to pan out that way. And I feel like you know that and you accept it. So when problems happen or things come at you, you are able to face it very quickly and adapt to it very quickly. Ooh, interesting. That's a big skill set you're learning and they're highlighting it right now too. They're, they're putting it like in center stage for me. So tell me a little bit more. What is this, um, what's the destiny of this soul group? I want to know. We have the tower card. So we have a soul tribe that is destined to bring about change by showing the enemy who they are. Yeah, you bring towers into people's lives. You force people to see themselves as they are, telling them, wait, turn around. Go back before it's too late. You're like this sentient being that's along the path warning them. Don't go any further or you'll trip and fall. And maybe down the line you pop up as something different, as a different sign. But no, you. this is, this is you. This entire group is designed to come together in this time to prevent people... To give people an opportunity to change their ways. Justice comes through. You are the group that brings about towers in people's lives. And people are changed forever. They are forced to walk away from devilish ways. Forced to walk away. Disappointed. Regretful. Abandonment. The enemy cannot survive around you guys. And this group is specifically being brought together by your divine ancestors, by your angels for a very special reason. Excuse me. This particular group has a soul contract with each other. We've been having some strong feminine energies, like groups of feminine energies like this, like... And I'm, and I'm hesitant to say any kind of coven or witchcraft or anything like that. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is a group of women who are just, you know, when, when man abandons woman, what does woman do? They lean on each other. They support one another. It's like they were forced into these power groups and now they are not going to allow the enemy to claim anybody else's soulmate or anybody else's twin flame or anybody else's happiness. They've just taken it upon themselves that the enemy took everything from them. So we're going to go ahead and be the champion of the world. And make the enemy pay. Pound for pound in flesh. For every minute that the enemy takes, every moment, every hour that the enemy claims from the collective, you're, it's like your personal mission to give it back. You're heroes. This entire group of feminine energies, they're heroes. Your soul family is hero. I mean, look at what you battle. This is what you fight. The Nine of Swords. Every ailment on here, anxiety, worry, fear, depression, nightmares, insomnia, hopelessness, trauma, and despair. They should put PTSD on here and sexual abuse 
and sexual trauma, they should put all of that under this card. This is anything that keeps a person up at night, robbing them of their life. This group of feminine energies over here are going to help solve that problem on this planet. They are going to encourage people. They are going to heal people. They are an influencer, a social media influencer of some way, meaning that this group of women very well could be moving around like a pod of light workers, changing every platform that they, that they touch just by being their truest, authentic selves, just by daring to have a dream that a world can be united in anything but despair. You are champion over the spirit of anxiety and depression and worry. You are feared in the hell realms. You are feared. But you're a hero here on the planet. You're a hero in the 5D. You're a demon slayer. We all knew that. You are so powerful. The judgment card coming out. Heck yeah. You were born for this time. Oh, and look at that. You also have a divine emperor coming in, but more some of you have an emperor coming in, not all of you, okay? I'm talking, this is more you stepping into your leadership role. Divine feminines and divine masculines, you have grabbed a hold of the divine masculine emperor energy and you are holding on to it tightly and you are sitting on that throne proudly. No one is going to take you away from the truth Judgment has been called. This is it. Ooh, I like it. I want to know more about your divine path. What does God want you to know about with the cannabis oracle here? What is the next thing that we're going to be worrying, or not worrying about? What's the next thing we're going to be looking at? Actually, no, I want to use the angel tarot. What's the next things we're going to be looking at? I'll close with that one. Sorry, sidebar conversations with my angels. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and take a peek. What's next for the Sisterhood of the Rose? This group of high priestess feminine energies, these mystics, shamans, these teachers, divine teachers, women who share a history together. Women who share ancestral secrets that the men don't know about. And I won't reveal what those conversations are sounding like, but it sounds very, very cool. <laughs> very cool. It's like opening up a trap door into a secret well of information. And the pool of water in this well looks like a glassy black lake. It's so dark inside the well but it's just still water and you and you just can't even imagine how deep the information goes it's it's pretty intense pretty intense we're talking about a group of women that get together and pray together too that's that's amazing that's amazing all right so let's go ahead and take a peek what does god want to reveal about the future path for this this feminine group these leaders in the group. What do they want them to focus on? What's the next steps? Okay, so we're going to be facing divine love. You have the angel of commitment. You have the lover's card out here and the nine of wands. This is a lot of energy that suggests that somebody is very determined to find love. This could be you that's determined to find love. This could be a divine counterpart that's be moving into your life. That is trying to claim you, you know, and determined to have you. This could also be your enemies that are determined to come after your love. I see three different, very specific timelines, and a lot of you are peppered in each group. Unfortunately, the group that I see this happening to most are the karmic energies that are determined to take love from this divine collective. 
sowing doubt, sowing fear, trying to interject themselves in your relationship, trying to change the course of destiny, changing the course of your history, basically toying with you, okay? And I see a lot of that energy, a lot of external interference, third-party interference, people who don't even know you. Maybe they see you on social media as an influencer and they're jealous of you. Maybe somebody wants to attack you. Maybe that determination is to hurt your softest chink in your in your chain mail, right? Your romantic hearts, they're coming after. Well, we're not going to let it because we're going to pray against it. And in Jesus' name, anything that involves your divine counterpart, your love, will not be compromised for any reason. Yeah. And the high priestesses come out. Sisterhood of the traveling rose over here. Um, you are not going to have to worry. Your sister's got your back. High priestess energy tells me you know. You know darn well that as a light worker, you are going to have to face trials and tribulations that, that nobody else would think are normal. You know, you're going to face tough times. And that's just the nature of a light worker. That's, that's what we sign up for because we see that there's a lot of benefit from it. You know, and God puts us in situations to create opportunities. And like I said, you came here, you are a tower in most people's lives. Now, with this particular energy, just know that your sisters have your back. You are never going to be alone again. Nobody is going to take advantage of your romantic heart. You're focusing on your mission. You're sticking true to the truth. For some of you, there is divine love on its way. That timeline is very clear. And this high priestess, this feminine energy that resonates with this, the group of feminines that resonate with this, you see your emperor coming in. And you see him coming in in very determined energy. So I want to read on that. Yeah, Ten of Cups and Knight of Cups. This is somebody wanting to offer you something more than just a, a lame offer. They want to offer spirituality. They want to offer you a divine love. They want to offer you the actual contract of what they were supposed to do for you on this planet your emperor wants to come through and give you more than just love he wants to give you love three ways and the majority of that is in spirit he wants to love you in spirit he wants to love you in friendship here um he wants to love you as a husband loves a wife okay we also have the ten of cups here he sees you as home completing that cycle the rainbow at the end with the pot of gold underneath it. You are that winning lottery ticket. You are that pot of gold, you guys. Ten cups is beautiful energy that pulls people in together. I kind of see the world card with this a lot of the time because when somebody comes together under that rainbow, it's like, and they lived happily ever after. It's like a completing of a cycle. And I do feel that world card energy on this particular Ten of Cups because this is what you wanted. You wanted happily ever after. You wanted to find home. And home just happens to be with this divine counterpart. Reveal. Who is the, who is the divine counterpart in this scenario? Did the moon card try to pop out there. The divine counterpart is the Page of Cups. He's a friend. It sounds like you have a masculine friend who would do just about anything for you. But you may not be aware that he is just absolutely in love with you. Just being as patient as humanly possible to wait for you to figure it out. I don't know why men do this, but that's okay because he's coming at you the right way. This is somebody you have a foundation of friendship with. This is somebody who cares about you very, very much, who would never let you down, who would never let you falter, who would be 
happy to just stay in and, you know, talk about nothing, you know, and laugh about everything and just experience life together. Go on adventures together with, you know, this is somebody you're going to have a lot in common with. Ooh, I like that. You're going to be doing a lot of the same things that you're already doing now, but you are not going to be, um, you're not going to be restricted by cutting off the energy at that friendship level. Like, okay, well, now I'm going to go home and I'm, you know, we hung out at our friend's house and now I got to go home. Like, no, you get to go home with this person too. And you get to, like, it's just, it's just fun. You're creating a lot of memories. You're also, the choices that you both are making right now, you and this divine counterpart that are on the same pathway together for this particular timeline of people that I'm looking at, you and your divine counterpart, you and your emperor are making choices that are triggering um, memories, and I don't want uh, maybe not memories there. I think maybe some of them are just future visions of your future life. You're starting to see your life flash before your eyes with this friend of yours. You're seeing yourself in different um, situations. Um, you know, you could be seeing romantic visions of yourself with this person. You could be seeing like seeing yourself do normal like household things like chores together and laughing like folding laundry watching tv like it's like the like the normal everyday stuff it's or cooking dinner you know it's or, or going grocery shopping like these are the normal everyday things that you're going to start seeing yourself in visions of or maybe you're already starting to see your those visions with this one particular friend and maybe it confuses you Maybe you're not entirely sure if this is just deception, if this is a trick from the enemy. So let's clarify. Holy Spirit, is this person... Yes, no card. Give me a yes, no card. Is this person the divine counterpart, the... this friend... This friend, is this the divine lover? Is this the emperor? Yes or no? We have five of cups. That's a no. The friend that we're talking about is a contender for your heart. But there is somebody else. Who is it? Reveal. Somebody working just as hard. We have a Virgo, possibly. Um, that may be this emperor. He is another friend of yours. So you're going to have a couple of different people come in for your energy. <clears throat> I'm not surprised, but my throat chakra is all getting all, all messed up here. And it's like too many people are trying to talk at once. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that energy for maybe a different reading. Um, because we are talking about this group of divine feminines. And maybe it's because there are so many women in this group. And they're all on different journeys to their soulmates or their twin flames. Some of them are, there's like a mix of everybody. And people who aren't on the divine soulmate or twin flame journey that are just starting to come into union with other awakened masculines, divine masculines, you know. I see a lot of this. And it's just all mixed up together. And I feel like it's just going to get more muddy if I try to read that energy further. There's a lot of hens in this hen house, okay? Um, so I um, will have to split up that, that energy for the future. But I want to go ahead and round back to this divine feminine group. This feminine group that is going into all these changes. Um, if, if it looks like there's going to be hormones on the rise. Like everybody's going to be on their own individual journey. There's going to be a, some people in this feminine group that are going to be extremely happy. Like I want to say like obnoxiously happy. And others of the people in the group are going to be a little bit sadder. Maybe a little bit more melancholy. Maybe they're going to be a little bit more irritated. It's like everyone's going to get on each other's nerves. It's like, um, 
I don't know. I feel like the full moon brings that out in a lot of women. So we're going to go ahead and figure out what God says is the best advice, how to approach this week with this new full moon energy, what you can look forward to, anything that will help out with this, this group's particular mission to teach and to spread light on the planet. So Holy Spirit, go ahead and clarify closing messages for us, what they can be looking for. It's all about unconditional love. And that's, that's the bottom line. The greatest of these is love, Jesus said. And that's what this group abides by. They lead with love. They teach with love. They heal with love. Everything that they do is in love and with love and done by love and for love. Okay? There is nothing that these women can't do because they understand what love is. So they want you to continue to exercise unconditional love. They want you to start loving yourself. For somebody out there, you're not loving yourself enough. Your angels, and, and this is the beyond card. This is a card that suggests that you're communicating with your divine ancestors. And this is your divine ancestors saying, you need to love yourself more, baby. And we're going to show you as much love as we can. The, this group of women is divinely protected. Um, they are very special. They are all chosen in their own individual unique ways. They all have their own special powers, their own special abilities. Um, some of them are, are empaths, like telepathic empaths. Like they can sense your emotions and they can read truth in your words from your emotions. Like there are people out there that can do some pretty amazing things. And when you are surrounded by other divine feminines, our abilities tend to amplify and they, they grow and they evolve because you're in the presence of other individuals who hold power, okay? When you surround yourself with power, you start growing in power. Surround yourself with darkness and evil, you start losing your power, right? We can all agree that we, we, we feel that. So surround yourself with other divine feminines that hold that power or a new soul tribe that holds that power. And love yourself. Love each other, but love yourself as well. Um, you are in need of tender, loving care, God says. You've been neglecting yourself. Putting others before you. Even Jesus needed to take time to eat, sleep, and meditate, you guys. Oh, yeah. We have the wizard card all about balance. They want you to remain balanced like the high priestess energy that you see here. If you can remain balanced, okay, and hold the focus of your intentions on what you're doing as a group and individually apart, you, there is nothing that's going to be able to stop you because you'll have God backing you up. Right now, you also have the Mami Wata card. So there is a suggestion here that you go into a deeper meditation um, or amplify your meditation by doing it a little bit more frequently and to ask God to reveal things from your memory Recall memories that are preventing you from moving forward or stopping you from growing anymore. So if you're feeling some kind of stagnation or you're looking for answers to something that's stumping you, in meditation, ask God to reveal this in your memory bank. So that way you'll be able to channel messages and fix those problems that you may be having inside of yourself. Okay, guys? I like that. It's that going within, seeking that 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 knowledge that is already ingrained in you, embedded in your in you, imprinted in your soul. Yeah. Freedom. You have the Vrai car. You are not a part of the collective of sheep that are sleeping out in the world right now. You are a shepherd, you are a chosen one. You rise out of the ashes. You rise above everybody else. You were not meant to be in this world of black and white. You were meant to be in a world of color. You bring color 
into the world collective. I don't know if you know that or not, but you bring color to the world. Without you, the world would be dull, drab, and gray. Because of you, because you exist, a man's world has the ability to, to, has the capacity to continue circling around the sun. This may be a man's world. Isn't that the song? This may be a man's world, but it would be nothing without a woman. Right? And that's you. Divine feminine energy. I don't need to pull any more of these, but you have the tower card on the bottom and that's bottom line. You came to make a change in this world. You came to say enough is enough. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get you some scripture to close out this message. Holy Spirit, please come through. Provide us with some divine scripture to close out this message for this group of women, this soul family, this soul tribe, um, who's just kind of going through life, going through love, going through this journey. They're all at different stages, God. Help me with messages that will resonate for all of them. In Jesus' name. we got two right off the bat. We're saying that one. Good. All right, let's go ahead and see what the message is. First one. It says, do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave the room for God's wrath. It is written. It is, is it not mine to avenge? I will repay, says the Lord. Romans chapter 12, verse 19. We just had this one, and I swear I did not put it back into the pile, into the shuffle yet. But there's no coincidences. I don't believe that there's any coincidences. This scripture is out here for a reason. This feminine group does have a string of individuals who are determined to um, attack this individual's love. And I am going to read on that on its own separate message. So after this message, I'm going to record on that particular energy. This determination for somebody to take love from you. And we're going to dive in deeper to that. But for right now... This message is preluding that message, saying, do not take revenge. God will correct it in the end. And when I post that message and when I record that message, it'll probably make a little bit more sense for you, okay? I did not forget you, though. I did see that timeline out here, and we are going to talk about it. We're just going to go ahead and dedicate our own message to it, right? <laughs> not everybody wants to talk about the depressing stuff or the... The toxic stuff that makes you upset in your day, right? Trying to be respectful to all the different groups here on, on uh, YouTube. Your next message is trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Psalm chapter 37 verse 3 through 4. God wants you to live your life on purpose. And God is pleased when you live your, your life in Christ consciousness, meaning that you live justly and correctly and you do everything for God's good. Okay, this is you. You dwell in his land and you enjoy every second of his protection. God is going to make your enemies to make peace with you in the end times. As long as you remain peaceful, as long as you continue to keep your trust in God, this protection is everlasting. Beautiful. And the last one is viewer sponsored. Thank you to whoever donated this one. It says, how priceless is your unfailing love, O God. People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light, we see light. Psalm chapter 36, verse 7 through 9. Confirmation again that this group of feminines know exactly what's going on. A group of high priestesses. Is that how, priestesses? Priestesses? Yeah. 
this group of high priestess, they are going to be able to do many things. They are going to be able to manifest a whole new world just with this small group. And there's a couple of pods of these groups all over the world. Um, there's some of you in Australia. There's a lot of you in the United States. There's quite a few of you over in the UK. There's like, they're, they're strategically placed all over the globe. These groups of women. That's not a coincidence. You know what they look like? They look like they're all gathered at magnetic points on the planet, like in a grid. Like I see the planet, I see the globe lit up, right? In my third eye, I see this globe and it goes dark. Like I can see this black ball. I can see little highlights of where countries are. It's just real faint and real dark. And then here, I see little lights form, like little pods of lights. And that's what it looks like, little pods of lights. Like an indicator would look like um, if you were looking for human life on the planet. And I can see these pods, and they just happen to look like all of these pods are showing up in grid formation, like crisscrossing, like, uh, like ley lines. And it's, it can't be coincidence. It can't be. I, I refuse to believe that it's a coincidence. Um, maybe if this is, I don't know, maybe how geese and certain birds migrate and how they're called south for the winter. I feel like the divine feminine population on an energy level is migrating right now. I can't explain that, but it feels like divine feminine energy is migrating at this time. Changing, shifting majorly every single one of them. And I don't know, if that's you, um, maybe you understand that energy too. Maybe you're kind of confused by it as well. Or maybe you feel this shift. Maybe you feel this change. I'm a little bit uncertain about what's actually happening right now with us all. But um, it doesn't feel dark in any way shape or form it feels like growth it feels like evolution it feels like something big is happening like in a good way so i'm excited to see what energy pops out for us in the future but we are going to go ahead and take a peek on our next reading with this determination energy um for this enemy that is looking to take love from you so we're going to go ahead and try to look into that energy here for the next reading so no matter where you are guys in the world just take care of yourselves and if you enjoyed this message if it resonated with you stay tuned for the next message posting after this it will be a continuation okay guys so take care of yourselves no matter where you are in the world and god bless you all